How to add a global dimension using the simple object designer. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add fields to existing tables and how to create what we call field transfers between the new fields we're adding so data can flow through the system. Um, and the example I have chosen is, is a global dimension. and by saying this, there might be a uproar out there saying, hey, but you should not create a global dimension and that's bad design and so on. But perhaps some cases it makes sense if you need the filtering capability of a global dimension. But I'll use this as an example and um, because I think it's a pretty, pretty cool example. Uh, so let me show you how you can do that with the object designer. Here is the object designer and got an empty app ready here. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is that I, I'm, I got to, you got to start somewhere. So you let's create a new field. And we could create a field on the um, on the customer table. And let's call it uh, glow dim three. Um, and maybe um, We'll just make it a code. We could also have created a, a feature with with the lookup table for it, but but that's beyond the scope of this video right now. Check some of the feature videos for that. So now we have a field, uh, and we can quickly actually put that field onto the customer card. We'll add it as the. How about the the last field in? Uh, in the posting, what, what, what are we going to do here? In the invoicing section. Perfect. So now the field is on the screen. Um, but so the idea about a global dimension is, of course, that it, it travels to, through the system. Uh, so our the travel function in the symbol object design is called field transfer. So I will click field transfer and the simple object designer knows how data flows from customer to three places to the sales header either to the sell to customer field or sales header to the build to or to through to the general journal and um, so we can simply say okay we want it to be sell to that is controlling and we want general journal also, if you're using it, uh, the customer directly in a journal, we want it to transfer to the journal. But notice this, I, I dismissed the first one, but here on the second one, says that the general journal line table does not have a field called GlowDim3. Should it be created now? Sure. And I answered yes to that for Salesforce also. So by answer yes, we have activated the field transfer. And now we actually already have three fields. Um, so we can we can now do the same thing. We can go to uh, to sales header. So okay, let's do field transfer. So, do you want whenever you create a sales line from a sales header to get the uh, the dimension on lines also? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe this is a header field since we got it from the customer. Um, do you want it to be transferred from the sales header? to the general journal line? Sure. Uh, do we want it to go to the item journal? Perhaps not since this is something we use from the customer, uh, but surely we want it on the, on the shipment. We don't have a field created, sure. We want it on the posted sales invoice. We want it on the credit memo. Uh, do we want it to go into the, uh, the archive? Yeah, maybe. And maybe we need it to go to the warehouse activity also. So same thing, we have created all these, and now we have, uh, I can't even count, eight fields in eight different spots. Um, I can, we, th this is like follow the leader or, or uh, dig deeper. So now we can go and look and say, okay, from the general journal line, uh, we want to not place it, we want to transfer it. <laughs> then where do you want the fields to go? Well, I certainly want it to go to the GL entry because that's actually where I want the global dimension. Uh, maybe I also want them on the customer ledger entry. 
Um, and now we can see that because we're on a general journal line, it also knows how to get to vendor ledger entry, bank account ledger entries, employee ledger entries. Um, maybe since we did something that originated from customer, maybe this is irrelevant to have on the vendor ledger entries and on em employee ledger entries, but maybe it, it's re relevant to have on bank account ledger entries. So we can say that also. Um, And, and as you can see, now we have a bunch of table where this field has been added. There is control that the value from the field will flow through. So now I need to go through and make sure that it's visible on all pages. But other than that, I'm done. I have added the field to all these tables. I have made sure that the, the value from a field is transferred between them. Um, and by that, I have created a uh, global dimension. So the only thing left is actually to publish it and we're done. So that is one example of using the simple object designer to, uh, to add fields and the cleverness of field transfers uh, to Business Central without having to you know pull your head out and trying to figure out where the events are that will transfer fields and all that stuff because that's taken care of. The simple object designer knows how it, it's connected and you just have to select it and you're done. So check out more about the simple object designer in the links below or at hogart.com and um, good luck. Take care. Bye.